What's up guys, Elliot here from Men and Films and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you enjoyed last week's two videos that I uploaded. I hope you liked the new style of them. Let me know down in the comment section if you like the new style. Cause, uh, anyway, in case you didn't tell by the title of today's video, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make your very own hyperlapse. Now, a hyperlapse is basically just a series of photos put together and it's probably best if it's moving as and it's actually interesting. Now, the hyperlapse effect is used in lots of film, lots of kind of travel films like J.R. Ali used it quite a bit. And also I think the Watchtower of Turkey also has some hyperlapses in it as well. Okay, so the first thing you're going to do is make sure that your camera is on manual. Now, you need to make sure that none of the settings will change except the autofocus. As if any of the settings changes, you'll have like a difference between shots, like the lighting or kind of the ISO or the aperture. Walk one or two steps to take a photo, walk another one or two steps and take another photo. Okay, so once you've finished shooting your hyperlapse, the first thing you want to do is resize your photos. Now, if your camera's like mine, it doesn't take photos natively at 1920 by 1080, which is for a video. So I found this website online, which can bulk resize lots of videos. I'll leave a link to that in the description and it'll be here. It basically, basically resizes tons of photos to a desired pixel width and height. Now to use this website all you need to do is drag and drop your files or your photos that you want to resize and say what the width and height which is going to be 1920 by 1080. Now I'm not sure why it kind of doesn't resize it to 1080 but it doesn't really matter. Okay so once you've put them all in it will now start resizing them. Now this take, may take about a minute so just have to bear with it. Once it's finished resizing, it'll now put that into a zipped file and it'll download it for you. All you need to do is extract all the images back out of that file and then you are good to go. Okay, so once you've opened up HitFilm, you're going to drag in all the photos into the library. Once all the photos are in the library... Okay, so once you are in HitFilm, the first thing we're going to need to do is change the settings so each photo is one frame long. So to do this, we're going to go to File, Options. Now you see where it says Images or Planes, so you're going to make sure that says 1. And then we're just going to press OK. Now we're going to go back to our library which stores all our photos. We're going to press Control A and drag all of them onto the timeline. Once they're on the timeline, you'll notice that it might still be a bit jumpy. So you need to make go back to the Project Settings tab at the top and make sure it's something like 60 frames a second. Now you'll notice now when we play it, it is much smoother. Now the higher frame rate here really helps as it makes it much smoother. So just make sure you, you take a lot of photos, otherwise it'll be over in about half a second, which we do not want. So I recommend maybe about 180 photos or something, which will give it a good length. Okay, so once we've done that, we are now going to just render that out and call it something like unedited or unstabilized. Once we've rendered that out, we're going to go to the Home tab in HitFilm and start a new composite shot. Once we've started this composite shot, the first thing we are going to want to do is drag on our unstabilised hyperlapse. Once we've dragged on this unstabilised hyperlapse, go to the controls and click on the plus icon next to the track. Now you're going to want to find an area in the image which is a high contrast point so it's easy for the camera to track. Now as you can see when I'm tracking through this, it is not the most accurate and it keeps losing it so you just keep pressing the play button. Now don't have, this doesn't have to be too accurate, it doesn't have to be too accurate, it just needs to make it, you know, a smoother. Okay, so once you've done that, we're going to go down and see, instead of saying tracking, we're going to change that to stabilise and press apply. Now you notice it's not done anything so we need to go to the top where it says layer and change that back to view. Okay, so now it's on now it's on the view, you'll notice that the image is kind of moving around really it's kind of like moving around really rapidly, which we do not want. So we need to scale this up so we don't see any black checkered boards around the outside. So we don't see any black around the outside. You'll notice now that hopefully it will be quite a bit more stable. 
Okay, so there we go. Now you have your very own hyperlapse in Hitfilm Express 2017. I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you like, subscribe for more videos like this. Let me know other tutorials you want to see. And until next time, bye.